What's up guys? So we are here today on the bench and we are working with something brand new. I have never ever worked with any of this before. And so I'm really excited to showcase it and give it to you guys. It is this right here, the Monster Grip RC Tire Prep. It's the crawler formula for us guys who are crawling. Um, I'm gonna do something a little different than what most guys are doing. They're doing brand new tires and preparing them and getting them ready for the rocks. Uh, what I've done is take, taken these Super Swampers uh, and they're slightly used and have prepped them to see what's going on. So stay tuned guys. Okay guys, and we're back. Um, I wanna just uh, explain what this is. So this particular product here is a tire conditioning formula. Uh, it is not a prep or a tack as they would call it uh, in the uh, RC drag world. This is 100% a conditioner for the tire for our crawler tires, okay? So I wanna get that out of the way. <clears throat> it is by, it's made by these guys, Throttle Up, Throttled Up RC, and you can check them out on Facebook and as well as YouTube. The owner is Gary Milos, and that's his number. If you guys have any questions that I couldn't answer, there's a lot of information on YouTube, guys, so go ahead and check it out. All right, let's get to it. Okay guys, so what I've done is I've staged these tires uh, in different conditions at this point. So what we have here is the tires flipped, turned inside out, and I've coated them already. I have one that I've already done here that is coated on the inside and now coated on the outside. Okay guys, so the plan with this is something a little different. Most guys are doing brand new tires and they're coating them and conditioning them for the rocks, getting ready for the rocks. So what I did was I took a used tire uh, that has some wear on it, but still has a lot of life left to it and decided to condition these. So. The intention was most of us have some used tires and to see uh, how good or better um, the formula makes the tire. So again, this is a conditioning uh, formula and not a prep or tack formula. There's no tack or whatever in it, according to the guys who made this. Okay. And... Uh, we're going to be doing these and showing you what's going on. So I have one tire which is completed and in the bag ready to go. I have another tire that I've already completed. And then I have the other two tires which I haven't done yet. So according to the manufacturer and according to Gary and the gang who developed this, uh, this is how it's supposed to go. You'll have the prep bottle here. Shake it up and you can go ahead and start with a clean tire, prep the inside, and then from there, prep the outside. You're then going to store it in a bag to allow it to cure for a period of 24 hours. You can do this up to five times or as many times as you want uh, based on how you want the tire to be conditioned. So they used words like soft, pliable, uh, and things of that nature. So um, take it for that and what it's worth for that. And it preps and conditions the tire to be ready for the rocks, uh, which is a good thing for new tires, but wanted to do something a little different and stage and prep, prepare and condition a used tire. So that's what we're doing. Okay, guys, so let's go through what the... Uh, step is so 
I've already conditioned the inside of the tire. Now it does feel a little sticky or tacky, but not where it's leaving uh, a whole lot of residue on your hand. So you're gonna take the bottle, shake it up, because the formula will separate. Okay, oh, that fell out. Let's put that back in. Okay guys, so what I've done is, I flipped the other tire and we're gonna do the outside. Okay, so I have the formula here, shake it up, and we're just gonna coat it. I did pre-clean these tires uh, with some degreaser, some heavy degreaser so that it basically it's good to go as far as clean is concerned. So they did mention that uh, sidewalls might get too soft, but we'll coat them anyway. And it's really um, a thing that you have to kind of experiment, I guess, with at this point to figure out what's going on. Because one, we're prepping or prepare, conditioning a used crawler tire so that's a little different and i'm just going back and forth trying to catch it all should i be wearing gloves probably but we'll just keep on going All right. That one is Paul. Okay. So I'm going to stick it in the bag over here. Draw the air out. let it cure for 24 hours and come back and coat it again and then we're going to mount them and we're going to play with them get them on the rocks and we're going to try them out so guys we are going to test them on the rocks after this after they've cured um and if you guys have any questions feel free to leave a comment uh down below i'll try my best to to answer them and if you guys uh, want to see more videos like this, give it a thumbs up and let me know. All right, guys. Aloha.